Hi folks, this is Vince and Ida Lee with Dance Gaming Addiction, <laughs> and today we're going to try out Dream Home. This just came in the mail yesterday, and uh, we haven't had a chance to try it out yet. It's for two to four players, ages seven and up, and the average play time is about 30 minutes. So uh, let me go ahead and tilt the camera down so I can show you all the components. We did read the rules. Actually, she spent more time with the rules than I did, so she might actually correct me on a few things. Um, this is a look at the box insert. Uh, these are just extra, these are like guide cards for scoring purposes. Uh, points for roof, home functionality, different points. So this is something to refer to that each player gets at the beginning of the game. There's also a score pad here. Um, I tore off a sheet for myself and one for Ida Lee. Um, basically, this is a drafting game that has to do with putting a house together. You're going to be drafting rooms putting them into your house, and then depending on how you do it, you score a different amount of points. There's points for rooms, decor, functionality, and roof. So, um, that's the score pad here. Uh, what else did I show you? Okay, well here's the instruction manual. It's about uh, 14 pages, well 16 pages or so, but this is a rather large rule book. Um, the, Honestly, I look through this and it's not that bad in terms of rules. It's actually pretty easy. Again, like I said, you're going to be drafting cards from the center here and then you're going to be putting them into your home. And that's the gist of it. Uh, obviously, there's a bit more to it than that, but that, that's the general idea. Um, you've got these uh, decor tokens over here and you'll be able to put these into your houses to get uh, more points. Uh, and the, there are cards in these decks that allow you to place them should you happen to pick them up um, and they're worth different point values. I think this is the first player token here and this is sort of the purchase area. There's two different types of cards in this game and the names escape me at the moment. Uh, there's room cards and resource cards. These are the room cards here. And just to quickly show you, this is a playroom, for example. And you're going to be putting these down into your home in a certain way. And there are certain placement rules re with regard to that. Like, you cannot put a room above a room that does not exist yet. Like, here's, a, here's two garage spaces here, or these are like basement spaces. You cannot put this here without something underneath it supporting it. So this would be legal uh, because there's a house foundation here. Uh, this would not be legal because this is empty here. This would also not be legal. This is also not legal until there's something underneath it and so on and so on. So you're going to be uh, using the little points here on the bottom. There's a one card with a two on it and then two cards with a six. The number of cards you see is how many cards you can group together of that particular room. So at most, I can have two playroom cards side by side with each other. And if I happen to do that, I get six points. By itself, it's only worth two points. So I'm going to put this back underneath here somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you've got um, these resource? resource cards. Good job. <laughs> and they give you different abilities. Like drill, there's a tool. Uh, before you take cards, discard this card to switch one room card on your home board with one room card on the game board. So there's different ways to break the rules and that's what these things do. Uh, there's also these roof tiles. If you happen to get a roof tile as you're playing, this is a memory part of the game where you're going to get it and you're going to put it face down into your roof stack here. And you have to remember what colors you're putting down here because you score points based on all of the... Uh, you have to get, I think, four roof tiles of the same color in order to complete a roof. However, you still get points if you get four roof tiles, but you don't get as many points for doing that. So you could have like red, orange, uh, purple, and red, and that would be a less amount of points than you would having four red or four purple or four orange, if that makes any sense. All right, and I'm sure she'll chime in if I'm incorrect about that. But yeah, different different things in this deck. And the way this works is, um, there's a lot of roofs here. I just want to make sure I shuffled it right. Yeah, work. Actually, there's a lot of roof tiles. Okay, that's good. So uh, the way this works is at the beginning of every round, we deal out a number of cards. One, two three, four, five, this is the bottom row here, and then you've got one, two, three, four. And basically, the start player, and I forget who starts the game, youngest player receives, that would be you, 
Because <laughs> I'm an old fart. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on these cards here so you can see what they consist of. So Sorry, Fred. There we go. So the way this works is, starting with the first player uh, and then going clockwise, I believe. Um, and there's only two of us, so that doesn't matter. Uh, in a two or three player game, there's a special rule. You don't have to follow it if you don't want to, but the manual does suggest this for balance purposes. Um, the first player, whoever that is, will pick a column and remove those two cards from this round and put them in a discard pile. Um, if you're playing a four player game, you don't have to do that, but uh, you know that's something that we may want to do just to see how that works in this. So, Idly, go ahead and pick one of these, not the first column mm -hmm. here, but you can choose one of these four, just choose one of these columns and then we'll discard those cards. Um, Whichever one you think. I can't read this. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, pick up the cards as you need and feel free to read it. I have it this way for the sake of the camera, but... Okay, I don't want that one. Uh. <laughs> I think the most difficult part of this is going to be figuring out how these... When, when to use these special cards that pop up on this top row. Now, basically, the way a turn works is, like I said, the first player in this case will choose one of these columns to get rid of in a two or three player game. Then she'll choose one to keep for herself. Um, if she picks the first row, she receives the first player marker, but she's already got it, so she doesn't need to do that. Um, so she's probably going to choose one of these and then use those cards. And as soon as you get them, you put them into your house. And then I'll do the same thing. And then, we're just, and then we get rid of all of the cards here, we deal more cards out, and then we rinse and repeat until we run out of cards over here on the left. I would like to get rid of this one. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is a discard pile. I guess we'll just start that over here. All right, so now it is your turn. You can choose one of these columns to keep, and you'll get two cards. Okay, so that orange one goes, that's a roof tile, that goes face down into your house there. Yep, mm -hmm. you got it. And then other one goes into your house. So that's a workshop, and that's a basement card. Mm -hmm. The cards are color-coded, and I just want to quickly show you what that looks like here. Uh, in the manual, there's uh, normal room cards, which have like a red bottom here, and then you've got unique cards, which sort of have a, a blue tint on the bottom here, and then basement cards are like really dark colored so it, it, it's easy to tell the difference and of course you got your other uh, special unique cards up here as well okay so um my turn to choose one of these columns i could either do a roof or uh what does this scaffolding do this is a tool when you take this card place it on an empty space on your home board you may place a room card above scaffolding you must replace this card with a room card before the game ends so it's a way of breaking the support rule, sort of. It allows me to see. I, so if I get, if I see a second floor card that I may want to put down, but I can't do it yet because I don't have the proper base for it, I could use the scaffolding and um, do that. Now, whenever you get a tool like this, it can stay off to the side until you're ready to use it. All right, so I can either do the scaffolding in the living room or I can do a roof in the playroom. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this here, mm -hmm. and the scaffolding goes here, and then the, the living room, I'm gonna place, I'm gonna place that here. Okay. And that ends the turn. So what we're gonna do now is discard that, and discard that, and discard that, and then we fill this up again. I think you guys get the idea. Oh, there's another, here's a roof tile with a window on it. That also scores points at the end of the game. It's one extra point. So it's kind of like a, a special roof tile. Mm -hmm. um, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so more tiles, more, more cards coming out. And again, I'm going to zoom in on this so hopefully you guys can see what's coming out. All right, so she's the first player. She gets to choose one of these four rows to get rid of for this round, and then she can take one for herself. Mm. And by the way, folks, this is our first time playing, in case I didn't mention that, so if we make a rules goof, you know, don't go too hard on us here. We're still learning. <laughs> um. I'm guaranteed at least one rules goof in these kind of videos, just because. I'm going to take... I know which one you're going for. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, maybe not. We'll see. 
I'm going to take this. <laughs> okay. So you're getting rid of the kitchen and the window. Oh, really? The window. So you're going to get rid of it. Oh, you're going to take it. Yeah. Which one were you getting rid of oh, the discard? Sorry. No, you're, no, you're fine. Okay. I'm getting rid of... I'm getting rid of this I one. know. <laughs> I saw it. I needed the living room. I knew you were going to get rid of that. Ugh. I need a first player marker. Ugh. And I, I put this one face down, right? Yeah, face down. Mm -hmm. So now you got to remember what colored tiles you have in your roof. Okay, and now I will take, I've got a purple dressing room, orange game room, and the playroom is here, and I could become the first player if I want to do that. Um, uh, boy, the dressing room is worth, I can only have one dressing room and it's worth three points. It's worth three points if next to a bedroom, so it would be beneficial. I don't have a bedroom yet, so I. What I could do is, I could take this and then place it up here somewhere, or I can take the game room, and get the orange one. But the game room would have to go. Well, I guess I could put the game room up here too, but the dressing room would need to go next to the bedroom to score more points. So it's worth one point by itself, but three points if it's next to a bedroom. All right, I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take this, okay. put it here because it's there's a base here, and then I'll take the purple. Okay. All right, and that ends that. So these two go away. This one goes away, and we deal some more. Okay. <laughs> wow, okay, again, I'm going to zoom in on that so you guys can see what just came out. And then, as the first player, she gets to choose again what column to get rid of. There's a bathroom, if you can't read it, a bedroom. There's a garage. There's a pantry. And there's a playroom. To get rid of? Yeah, to get rid of. Get rid of this one. Okay, so you're gonna get rid of the bedroom. <sighs> it's the color I needed too. I know. She's like she no she's she's paying attention to what I'm grabbing. That's okay. smart. No, that's smart. Um, it's a cutthroat. Cutthroat game this is. Alright, I'm gonna get these. Okay. Two. Shelving and a bathroom. bathroom. What's the shelving do? Shelving, I need to take... Is it's that, a decor card. So a decor, I to, okay. I have to... Discard take, it and then take the token? Yeah, I have to take the token and put it on one of the basement. Oh, okay. Thingies. So that's worth some points for you then. One point from the looks of it. I think so. <laughs> okay, so this goes in the discard pile here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so she put her decor item on top of that to score some extra points for the end of the game. And now she's going to place that other thing. If bathroom. that's Bathroom. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the bathroom. Well, you have two choices, really. Really? Unless you, well, no, I guess I you have, could put it in the basement. I have four oh, no, you do. Yeah, have, you could put it here. You could put it here. No, I don't think I could put it Oh, you there. can't put it in the, it's the not, basement? It's not a basement. Oh, base. oh, that's right. Yeah, it's not a base. So you could put it here, here, or here, or here. Yeah. I think I'm going to... I guess I'll put it upstairs. Why not? There you go. <laughs> Make people walk. Um... <laughs> I will grab, all right, so the garage, if you have two garages, it's worth four points. If you have one garage, it's worth zero. Um, but I think, I don't know what other kind of basement tiles there are, or cards there are, so I don't know if I want this. I could grab the playroom and thus the first player marker and stop her from... <laughs> doing all sorts of nasty things to me. Um, oh, it says I have to put this. I have to do this immediately. When you take this card, place it on an empty space on your home board. Oh, so I have to play it now. Oh, okay. you do? Yeah, according to this. So I guess I'll put this over here. All right, my bad. I should have played that when I got it. Really? I didn't. Uh... That's okay. It doesn't really affect too much. Hopefully. Um, Playroom is worth two points, and then uh, the pantry needs to be put 
Well, it doesn't need to be, but it, it's worth three points if next to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And there's this, what, is that a color? What is that color? Brown, I guess. I don't, does it matter? What? The color of the windows? No, I don't think so. I think it's no. just worth extra points. Yeah. All right, I, I will grab... See, the garage is a risk, because if I don't get two garages, then I don't get four points. If I take this one, I know that this, this card under here is purple, so that doesn't match that. But I should get an extra point. And this also means that I'm, I'm risking that I'm going to get a kitchen at some point. I just have to hope I get a kitchen. And I have to put it next to a kitchen. So where am I going to put this kitchen? If I put the kitchen up here, I don't know how much the kitchen is worth by itself. And if I put the pantry next to it, hmm. All right, well, <sighs> crap. There's a more scaffolding thing. <laughs> oh, good. It's all detailed. Oh, uh, <laughs> more, more, okay, when you take, yeah, it just says to put, when you take it, place it on an empty space. So it looks like, yeah, so it, it's something I have to do immediately. Okay. That's fine. So playroom would give me, more. you know what, let's do, I want to do this and, and this. Okay. I'm going to take that and put the playroom here. That way I'm not reliant on the kitchen for this pantry. Garage. And these two go here. Okay, so new cards. Study. Garage. Of course. Playroom. Living room. Kitchen. Concrete mixer. Orange roof tile. Jackhammer. Wow. All right, so which one am I going to get rid of? Concrete mixer is a tool. Before you take cards, discard this card to switch two room cards on the game board. That might be useful. Um, but I don't want this. I've already seen a garage come and go. I don't know if I want to do another one. But I have to get, get rid of one. She's got a workshop in the basement. It's not a garage. So the, she's not going to choose this. There's another playroom for me, so that means I might want to get rid of one of these two. Although, there's a living room that I could use. Ugh! And a jackhammer. Before the first player's turn, discard this card to take one room card from the game board. Skip your turn this round. Oh, so it's a way of getting my turn in before you remove something. Um, I am going to get rid of the kitchen and this brown one, because I see that you've got a kitchen over there. Mm -hmm. And having two of them is worth six points, as opposed to just one. So there's that, and there's that. Now I will choose the living room and the jackhammer as my cards. Mm -hmm. This goes off to the side, and this living room I'm going to place here. Hmm. Now she's got a choice. Like I said, she has no use for this garage. She could become the first player again by taking the study, which I believe, is that a basement card? No, that's a room card. Is it? Uh, I think it's a date. Is it a date? No. Wait, is it a decor card? Decor? Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's not. No. It's a, just a regular room It's just card. a regular room, okay. Yeah. It's just weird because of the color on it, that's all. Like, yeah. I see it as a dark one. I don't know. It's great. Yeah, it's different <laughs> than that. Okay. So, yeah, you've got a choice. Do you want the playroom and the orange roof, or do you want... Well, I mean, you could take the garage if you want. I don't care. But... <laughs> hmm. This is tough. It is tough. this back a little bit okay so she's gonna take the first marker again okay so these go away I might have to use my jackhammer pretty soon here. <laughs> I know what she's gonna do one living room bedroom playroom pl wow playroom bedroom playroom bathroom roofer Cat house. Can I get rid of all of them? Paintings <laughs> and a brown roof tile. So, let me think about this jackhammer before you take your turn. Okay, go ahead. 
Um, so I can take a room card. It says, for the first player's turn, discard this card to take one room card from the game board. Skip your turn this round. So if I use this, well, she cannot remove this anyway. So I don't think I want to use this right now. I'm going to save it until there's something in these four columns that she may get rid of as the first player. So you go ahead and do your thing. Because I think I know what I'm getting already. Yeah. And I'm going to be zooming in and out here for you, for you guys so that you can see the cards in the middle. Man, this is rough. Yeah, it is rough. I'm going to get rid of this. All right, so you got rid of the playroom and these paintings. And this painting is a decor item. Place the paintings token on a living room card. It's okay. <laughs> I couldn't have gotten it anyway. Everything benefits you on here. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh-huh. So now you can take whatever you'd like. Can I take the first column? <laughs> you could. Well, you could do that. You've already got the first player token. So you'd just be taking it for the living room. And it's up to you. If you want it, go for it. You would have nine points. I would. That is up to you. <laughs> you gonna deny me points for the and sacrifice your house, or are you gonna go for something that benefits your own house? I know. Oh my goodness. Cat house is a decor. I can place that on any room. The roofer is a helper. At the end of the game, before you look at your roof cards, you may take one roof card from the discard pile. Nice. That's what this roofer does here. The cat house is there. Oh, man. This is difficult. It is difficult. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Either way, I'm going to have to start a new room. Look at you. Gosh. I'm thinking of a backup just in case, because I'm, sure I'm going gonna, gonna to need one. Oh my gosh, this is so terrifying. Okay, okay, I got this. You got this. You're building your dream home. Yeah. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one. The cat house in the bedroom. Yeah. Okay, go for it. I have to. <laughs> go for it. And I will take the living room and the first. first player marker. Get rid of my scaffolding. This goes away. And this is a day. Yeah, this one is, okay. I need room card. I'll put my tree house, my cat house in the study. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> While you're studying, you can pet the cat. Absolutely. Hot tub, tree house, <laughs> living room, another living room. Same place too. Another living room. Holy, another living room. Bedroom. Are you serious? That's not even fair. <laughs> well, I can't. I was going to pick the living room, but I figured out uh, what other living room cards are there. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in again so you guys can see what cards came out. Now, as the first player, I get to choose one of these rows to get rid of. The garage, not going to benefit her. The hot tub is a decor item placed on a bathroom. I don't have a bathroom. Treehouse can be placed near your home board. Ah. Oh, so it just goes oh. off to the side. Uh, what that did you the grab? Tree house. That's the tree. Yeah, you, you, you grab. You put the treehouse in, right in the study. Wow, that's <laughs> way to devalue your property. That's awesome. Okay. Um, you've got a bedroom that you need, however, you can't place it yet. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to put this cat house, since you already used it here, yeah. I'm going to put it here. I didn't know where No, you're fine. <laughs> um, so, if I were her, what would I choose? The living room, or the, f that, or that. The hot tub's a decor, and that goes in a bathroom, and she's got a bathroom. So she's got a couple of options here, so I need to think about what I'm going to put down now. I can't, I can put that in another living room, but I don't, 
Well, I can't because I have nothing supporting this down here. All right, I'm going to have to, I think, do the... I want to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of the... Well, no. She can start a living room. She might take the bedroom. All right, I'm going to get rid of the bedroom and this. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I will take the garage... Because I need some support underneath here to actually start building over here. So I got this roof here. And now you get to choose one. Can I reshuffle? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the living room, the living room, or the <laughs> living room? Oh, man. <laughs> That's terrible. It's a lot of living rooms. Yeah, it is. Too much. So she's got her choice. Living room and first player, living room and hot tub, living room and treehouse. Living room and hot tub. Okay, so you get to place a hot tub in your bathroom. And that goes out of here. And that's worth two points. And then that living room goes somewhere in your house. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You've got a living room. A bathroom with an octopus in it. Bedroom. Garage, garage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm waiting for a basement floor that's not a garage. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got um, red piano, which is a decor. Place the piano on a living room card. That would be perfect for me. Yes, it would. And the bedroom could be put here next to the dressing room for some, but it's only worth one point by itself. That's the downside. And she, she needs that bedroom. But I can grab the piano and put it in my living room for three points. I could do that. So she is gonna want, she's going to want this set of cards here. I can tell. But I need a garage. So do I discard that row, prevent her from having it at all, and then just take one of the garage cards so I can get four points on that? What, what would I get more? Would I get more points grabbing this for myself? Or grabbing the garage. The garage is worth four and it's worth a roof. That's four points. Whereas the bedroom by itself is worth one point. Next to the dressing room, that becomes three points instead of one. That's one, two, three. The piano into my living room is four, five, six. So I would get six points with this particular combination here, which is better than the garage. The downside is that I wouldn't be able to extend on my playroom over here and make it six points. And the bedroom would be trapped at one point. So... Do I sacrifice a couple of points for the sake of getting, getting a larger base down here? Or what? Well, first I need to discard something. I'm going to discard... Well, the bathroom can only be played by itself. What would she grab? Alright, I'm going to get rid of... I want to get rid of this here, this bathroom. No one's going to use it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this for myself, the piano and the bedroom, yep. and put the bedroom here. This sinks with that. And then this piano is a decor item. So oh, there it is. So this goes in the living room here. Mm -hmm. OK. And now you get to choose. Living room. Okay, so you get the first player and a living room. Okay, nice choice. I'm still, I have to hope there's more garages in the deck. I don't know how many there are of each. Okay, there's a bathroom. There's a kitchen. There's another kitchen. Another bathroom. Bedroom. Purple roof. Supplier. Ice cream maker, which is a decor item, and a birdhouse, which is also a decor item. So the helper at the end of the game, before scoring, you may switch one room card on your home board with one room card in the discard pile. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, ice cream maker, place the ice cream maker token on a kitchen card, and the birdhouse, place the birdhouse when near, oh, you place that near your home board. Okay, so it doesn't go inside your house. Mm. All right, so you have the first player token, so, well, Question is, do I want to use a stack hammer before you do anything? Um, 
is there anything that I need absolutely right now, right this second, before she gets rid of it? <sighs> the answer is no, I don't think. No, the, the, the second bedroom would have been nice, but it's locked in right now. Okay, you go ahead and do your thing. I'm going to have to pick one of these other ones to... Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so you're getting rid of the supplier and the kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right. And that goes here, that goes here. And now you get to choose one. I'm going to pick these two. Ooh, bedroom and the birdhouse, or what is that, birdhouse? birdhouse. All right, so which one is that? Those are paintings, one. that one, okay. So that goes near your board. Awesome, and you get to place, would you? The bedroom. Oh, awesome, okay. I'm going to place the, I have a choice between a bathroom and the ice cream maker. The ice cream maker, again, goes in a kitchen, which I don't have. The kitchen or the bathroom. The bathroom I'd have to put here, and I don't really want to do that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the obvious kitchen and purple here. All right, so I've got three roof tiles, and I think that ends that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got a kitchen, bathroom, bathroom, living room, storage room, brown, Interior designer's helper. Decor tokens do not finish your rooms. At the end of the game, each decor token on your home board is worth... Oh, so apparently decor items finish your rooms? Oh, yeah, that's right. Once you place a decor item... It oh, it's done? Oh, uh, okay, good to know. I don't think we broke that rule, no. so we're good. Uh, at the end of the game, each decor token at your home board is worth one extra point. Okay, brown and... Whirlpool bath. Decor. Place the Whirlpool bath token on a bathroom mm -hmm. card. Okay. So now you get to choose a row to get rid of, and then you get to pick one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is tough. Now do I want to use my jackhammer before you do that? Because <laughs> I don't have a lot of choice here. Mm -hmm. Alright, no, you ahead. You're good. Oh, come on. I know you want to use it. Nope. Really? Well, I can't really use it right now because there's nothing for me to grab. No, you good. Okay. Go. You're good. Okay. Um, Alright, so I guess I'll discard. Let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. There we go. Um, oh boy. I'm going to discard um, this one. Okay, so you're getting rid of the interior designer and the bathroom. Mm -hmm. All right. And now... I don't know why, just for... You're fine? Just for kicks and giggles. You're good. Home functionality. Oh, this is extra stuff at the end of the game. We bathroom on each of the top two floors. So that's... Um, let me point, zoom out. There we go. So if I have a bathroom here and here, I get three extra points. Mm -hmm. For a bathroom, a kitchen, and a bedroom, I get three points. That's what the home functionality part is. Okay, so Can you I get pick? to yeah, you get to choose. I'm gonna pick this one. Storage room and a whirlpool bath. Okay, go for it. This is gonna go here. Okay. And this one I think gets discarded because it can't I be added guess, yeah. to your thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because you already have a decor item on your current mm -hmm. bathroom there. Okay, so this goes here. All right, now I gotta choose. Um. Bathroom and bath. Well, I can't. I can do a. I can do a living room up there, but I don't know why I want to have two living rooms. <laughs> <laughs> why not? It's a mansion. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I could do the kitchen, and not place it anywhere. Well, I needed a card here. I have to take the bathroom and put it up here. I think. So that's worth one point, and the brown goes here, mm -hmm. and these two go away. And these two go away. All right. Oh, birdhouse. This is a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So you've got bathroom, oh. kitchen, bedroom, living room, kitchen, kitchen. Wow. brown, architect, 
red with a uh, window, and purple. Now the architect is a helper. Each empty room on your home board is worth one point. Your home functionality bonuses are worth four points instead of three. So it's a game changer in terms of endgame scoring. So you get to choose one of these four to get rid of, and then you get to pick one for yourself. Whatever you'd like, and I have a feeling I'm going to have to discard something, because there's no, I have no support here now. I am going to get rid of... Get rid of that one, I guess. This, this one here? Yeah, sure, why not. Okay, so architect and bedroom. Okay. There and oh, here and here. Okay, so now you get to choose one to keep. Bathroom. Bathroom, okay. There you go. Thank you. You're going for your functional or your yeah, functionality bonus there. You've got two bathrooms, one there and one there. Mm -hmm. And you keep the first player marker. And I gotta choose one of these, but I'm gonna have to discard the room because I can't I have no base here. So I have to just basically pick one for its roof. I'll take the living room, discard it, and keep the one point roof. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was kind of a crappy one for me. All right, these go away. All right. Kitchen, playroom, living room, wine cellar, living room, roof, canopy bed is a decor. Place the canopy bed token on a bedroom card. Yeah. Concrete mixer, we've seen that. Before you take cards, this card, this card, to switch two room cards on the game board. And a brown one. Okay, so once again, you get to choose. Now, am I going to jackhammer this? <laughs> I kind of have to. I need, I need to put stuff here, or I, I, we're running out of cards. So I'm, I'm going to take the hit here and get zero points for this garage. I've got to put something down here. So I'm going to use my jackhammer to do the wine cellar. So I, on a future turn, I can build here. And then I, that, my turn's over. I can't do anything. So you get to just choose one to keep for yourself, and then... Um, I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Playroom and orange one. Good. All right. Um... And I think this might be it. Library, bedroom, bedroom, garage. You stupid! <laughs> oh, garage! I had a jackhammer. Handyman. So Red. And okay. Oh man. What, so, what, um, is the, what is the handyman? The handyman. Well, At the end of the game, before scoring, you may switch two rooms on your home board. <laughs> you may switch two rooms on your home board at the end of the game. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wow, well, indeed. Wowzers. Ugh. All right, so you get to pick one to get rid of. All right, to get rid of. Uh-huh. I've got four cards. That's good. All right. I don't remember what colors I picked at this point. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get rid of, oh my gosh, I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, bedroom in purple. Yeah. Okay, that's that, and that's that. Okay, and now you get to choose one. I'm choosing this one. Library and handyman. Go for it. I want that library. Well, I, I don't have much choice. Um, I can score one point with the bedroom or two with the playroom. Can I have two of the same? Can I have two separate playrooms? I don't see why not. I'd score. Well, no, because I, I don't. Think, I don't need a red tile. I still don't think. Um, I I don't remember what these are, but that's okay. Um, game and scoring points for room. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, you just they're just not considered adjacent. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I can do two points here or one point here. Uh, it's obvious. So I'll just take. 
I don't need any more roof tiles at this point. If I have three red in here, and I, I, I don't remember. I know I have a purple and I have a brown, but I don't know about the rest. I don't think I have three red. Okay, so I'm going to take the playroom and put it here. All right. So, no more cards. That's the end of the game. And now we score. So, the way this works is... Do um, you have a pen by chance? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You came prepared. <laughs> All right, so rooms. We're going to count these up first. The playroom by itself is two. The Actually, let's go ahead and zoom in on this so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, let's do that. Okay. So, we've got two points, three... This is next to a bedroom, so that's, uh, so that's just three, and then four, five, six, seven. This is nine, so nine plus seven is 16. The piano is three points, that's 19. The kitchen is 20. Uh, playroom, 22. The wine cellar is 23. So my room score is, actually, yeah, 23. My, oh, I, I counted the decor in with that. So technically, this is, bless you, this is 20, and decor is 3. So I just split them up. Functionality, I don't think I got anything there. Three points for a complete roof. Um, that's for the roof, though. That's not functionality. Home functionality is three points for having a bathroom on each. No, don't have that. Three points for having a bathroom, I do. A kitchen, I do. And a bedroom, I do. So I have three points for that. The roofs. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that. We've got a whole slew of cards here. Uh, red, so I, I get... I'm just gonna, that's fine. So I got two purple, an orange, and yeah. So that is... Uh, three points for a complete roof, and then five extra points if your roof is uniform, which it isn't. So I get three points for a complete roof, plus one because of uh, this window. So that's four. All right, so I add these together. This is um, three, six, that's 30. You got 10 here and 20 here, it's 30. Okay, so you, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom in on you here. Well, I was gonna pass the thing. Oh, you, oh, okay, well I can do that too. Just... So you can score it. <laughs> that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna move these out of the way. Bear with us, folks. Okay, there's yours. All right, so I'm going to move this back down. All right. Now you've got your thing here. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, what do we got going on? Stuff. We've got stuff. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. This is four, so that's seven. Uh, seven plus two is nine. Ten. 10 plus 4 for two living room cards is 14. Study at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same as me for the rooms. Good job. Decor. You did really good here. You got a lot of decor items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you got 5 in decor. Mm -hmm. Functionality. You got uh, 3 points for a bathroom on each floor. Plus, you got, you have a bedroom, do you have a kitchen? Yes, you do. So you got three points for having all of that. So you got six. Six points there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Roof. Nothing. Really? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even complete it. I totally thought I had four cards. Oh, 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 no. I have a hole in my, my beautiful house. I know, all these decor items are ruined. Uh, oh, what'd you do? That's all. All right, so do you get one point for not completing your roof? No. No? Okay. No. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. I hate to see you... <laughs> no, it's fine. Because you're fine. flooded out. I mean, yeah, I don't... I mean, okay. maybe you got flood insurance. I don't know. Um, an incomplete roof is worth zero. Okay, yeah. so... At least it's not negative. <laughs> so, yeah, it's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. So, in the end, you got... 31 points! Very, you beat me by <laughs> one won. point! Look at you! You won the game! Very good! Ida Lee with... I went for functionality. You did! <laughs> you, ignore the fact that her stuff is floating down the street right now. It's okay. She's got all the expensive items in her house, but they're all ruined. That's right. You got you got homeowner's insurance. You're covered. Yeah. You're fine. I, look at this. I got the handyman. You got the handyman. <laughs> Wait, did you use the handyman? Did you need him for anything? Nah. I, I wanted to switch my, my study with my... 
Oh, would that have worked? That wouldn't have done anything really. It's just for aesthetic purposes. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. How oh, nice. So, that was Dream Home. Congrats, Ida Lee, for winning. Uh, I'm going to move that. Uh, okay, there we go. Dream Home. Pretty cool game. Really like it. It's about 30 to $35 on Amazon right now. Uh, I just keep in mind that the prices on Amazon do fluctuate based on supply and demand. Um, thanks so much, and uh, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.